What is up, Truth Seekers? Ben here with the hottest roll tea. That's going to shake your world upside down. Well, 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 my fellow Britons, if you thought the roll drama couldn't get any juicier, well, I'm here to tell you that you were sorely mistaken because the latest news out of Montecito is so outrageous, so utterly scandalous, that it's enough to make even the most jaded roll watchers head spin. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of the revelation, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. And turn on your notifications. You don't want to miss this explosive content that we have in store. So now, according to some reports from reliable sources, our dear Duchess Megan has once again descended into a fit of rage. This time hurling plates and other household items around her palatial Californian estate. Can you even begin to imagine the sheer pandemonium, the utter chaos that must have reigned in that gilded cage they called home? And the kicker, apparently their hapless neighbours were the unfortunate witnesses to this latest display of Megan's unhinged behaviour. I can just picture it now, the good people of Montecito minding their own business, only to be jolted from their tranquility by the sounds of shattering China. In Megan's spine-chilling screams, it's enough to make one's blood curdle, is it not? But you know what they say, my friends, where there's smoke, there's fire. And in this case, the flames of Megan rage have been fanned by her latest setback. The news that Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge have officially removed her and Harry's names from their charity. Wow, that's right. The foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge is no more. In its place, a new improved charity. One that's free from the taint of the Sussex's toxicity. And let me tell you, the symbolism of this move is not lost on me. Nor you, I suspect. You see, my fellow Britons, this isn't just about some simple change. No, this is a clear and unequivocal message from the future king and queen. Meghan and Harry are no longer welcome in the fold. Their petty squabbles, their self-serving antics their relentless attempts to undermine the very institution they once claimed to uphold. It's all been for naught. And of course, let's not forget the cherry on top of this delicious Sunday of poetic justice. The fact that Meghan and Harry have been forced to scramble. Wow. Desperately trying to set up their own charitable foundation, the so-called Archwell Venture, Talk about a fall from grace, eh? But let's be real here, my friends. We all know that Megan's true motivation has never been about philanthropy or making the world a better place. No, her sole ambition has always been to bask in the spotlight to soak up the adulation and attention that comes with being a member of the royal family. And now, with William and Kate firmly cementing their status as the future of the monarchy, Megan has been relegated to the shadows, a mere footnote in the grand tapestry of the House of Windsor. Can you even begin to imagine the anguish, the sheer desperation that must be coursing through her very veins? After all, this woman has spent years cultivating an image of herself as a trailblazer, a champion of social justice and women's rights, and now, with the rug pulled out from under her, she finds herself bereft of the very platform she once craved. But you know what they say, my friends, karma is a bitch. And in Megan's case, it seems that the chickens have finally come home to roost. A constant manipulation of the media, her shameless attempts to portray herself as the victim, her relentless attacks on the royal family, it's all come back to haunt her. And of course, let's not forget her hapless sidekick, Prince Harry, that poor misguided fool, utterly dominated by Megan's machinations, reduced to a little more then a puppet dancing to her every whim. Can you even imagine the look of sheer terror on his face as he realises that the royal family has finally had enough of their antics? But you know what, my fellow Britons, I say good riddance to the lot of them. Meghan and Harry, with their constant scheming and their insatiable thirst for attention, have done nothing but sow discord and division within the hallowed halls of the Windsor dynasty. And now with William and Kate firmly taking the reins, we can finally look to the future with hope and optimism, knowing that the institution we hold so dear is in the capable hands of the champions of the crown. And let's not forget the glorious irony of it all, the fact that Meghan's own neighbours, the same unsuspecting Montecito residents, have been unwitting witnesses 
to her latest meltdown can you even begin to imagine as plates go flying in Megan's shrieks of anguish and rage echo through the Californian suburb it's enough to make one's heart swell with a sense of delicious vindication because you see my friends Megan and Harry have spent years manipulating the public twisting the narrative to cast themselves as victims but now with the latest incident and the news of their removal from the Royal Foundation the truth has been laid bare these two are nothing more than spoiled entitled brats desperate for attention and let's not forget the impact that this latest debacle will have on the precious Archwell venture. Can you even begin to imagine the panic that must be setting in as Meghan and Harry scramble to salvage the last vestiges of their public image? After all, with the royal family effectively cutting them off, their sole source of relevance and influence has been snatched away. But you know what, my fellow Britons, I say good riddance. Meghan and Harry have done nothing but bring shame and disgrace to the monarchy, and it's time they're held accountable for their actions. And with William and Kate firmly in the driver's seat, I've no doubt the future of the British monarchy is in safe, capable hands. So let us raise a glass, my friends, and toast the unwavering strength and resolve of the future king and queen. Let's bask in the knowledge that the tide has turned. The British monarchy has reclaimed its rightful place as the bastion of tradition and stability that it has always been. And of course, let us not forget the true heroes of the story, the ones who stood firm in the face of Meghan and Harry's attacks. King Charles! for having the courage to draw a line in the sand and refuse to be bullied by the self-serving interlopers and the rest of the royal family for standing united in the face of Meghan and Harry's tactics. Yes, the future of the British monarchy is bright and it is thanks to the unwavering strength and resolve of those who refuse to be crowned by the likes of Meghan and Harry. So let's raise our voices, let us shout our support from the rooftops and let us send a clear message to these two traitors. You're not welcome here, you're not wanted here and you'll never be a part of the legacy of the House of Windsor. This is our monarchy, our heritage, and we'll defend it with every fibre of our being. So what will happen next in the Sussex saga, guys? Only time will tell. But don't worry, I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. But before closing, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the word. Until next time, folks, goodbye for now. We'll see you again very soon.